לייב. היי, היי. אה, נעונה מוכו לייב, מוכו תיירי. נעמג'רושה קיטו, you guys are jokers. תקוע נקוג'ה פה once a month. כאן בי... addressing jokers we are now on a serious trajectory of the country tunataka kufanya vitu serious eh na nyi mko jokers huku i can't i can't i can't deal hmm? i can't deal haya andikia ni mahali wherever you are drop drop your locations if you can hear me first of all drop your location if you can hear me first of all drop your location Can you hear me? Paul Nginyo ako LD karibu sana. Kino karibu sana. Uh-huh, South B Mogadishu Michael Mboro kama kawa kama dawa. Michael Mboro you know you are so eh, Ngong Matasia hmm, Lucille eh? Unajua Michael Michael Mboro you are the guys who make me come because you guys have been so committed to my you've been so committed like the few guys who are always here man I really appreciate eh? Eric Njage eh S Alan on the Ndeg Wild D Shinyalu Istanbul eh karibuni na Kuru what up what up <laughs> na wengine wako wapi au wengine wako wapi karibuni Me, meru karibu karibu eh, umoja karibu kitui buru eh, nyeri karibu kuleni edible oil ya poison karibuni eh, izmir izmir iko wapi iko iran ama iko wapi mawama eh, narok eh, narok mi eh? botela botela hapa islando karibu jones karibu ni sana Eh, munajua ni introduction the first couple of minutes in introduction before we uasingishu pita masesi mm-hmm. live from Karen Clive Dishon Clive karibu sana mm-hmm. uko Karen ama Karen view uko Karen yenyewe oh mawama oh so Izmir is in Turkey okay Halingam Murage karibu sana 2020 Kampala <laughs> karibu sana naona wa, 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 ma, ma government officials walipeleka eh, walichukua mapoko wote wa, <laughs> wa Kampala wakaenda nao Dubai for the COP38 <laughs> eh, kiambu karibu sana Mr Washira <laughs> na kuona eh, tuko 68 tufike so tuanze ebu sheni link tufike so chaka nyeri Bamburi live utawala chaka by the way nilisomea nilisomea kagumo sasa nilikuwa natembea natembea anga hizo hizo saidi nilikuwa natembea anga hizo saidi sana eh? karibuni karibuni eh? nilikuwa naambia huyo boy wa Kampala niliona government officials walichota mapoko wote wa wa Kampala wakaenda nao Dubai sasa nimekuwa naona mapicha watu wana post kwa sababu Dubai the COP28 organizers walitoa eh simuliona ile list ya joy riders tunaita list of shame hmm? first lady huku amepeleka paka faith diplomacy at the, and then huyo mzee anasema i was not there i mean eldoret na hizi tu anaambiwa si ututumie picha ukiwa eldoret hatumi <laughs> karibu kutoka race course ngomongo kama ho ama ragwa eh? kama ho hasini hapo karibu na shule ya monga hapo Pioneer. Mm, karibu karibu sana. Karibu karibu eh tumebakisha watu eh, watu 22 tuanze. Share link, click like. Naona tu 24 likes. Tinganga Kiambu County karibu. SX Rahim Tula hezi kosa. Rahim Tula mi eh Alex Washira ndio huyo amechota ka kitu my friend. Eh nyinyi kaeni tu hapo mnachotea tu nyako William Dolan Always a pleasure watu wa New York karibuni sana. Dola iko iko juu sasa hii kwa hivyo rusheni rusheni vitu. Eh ma, mboro dhombe. Karibu sana. We are tumebakisha watu 12. Click like. We are only two. We are only at 34 likes. Click like, share link. Tufike watu so tuanze mapema. Hmm? Do boyne. 
to collect eh <laughs> D Karioki amesema big up washira juu ya kufanya hiyo kitu kufa, kucheza na eh, kucheza na Mpesa Kampala Kampala tulikuwa tunaongea juu ya vile eh, mapoko wote walipelekwa Dubai hmm? walipelekwa Dubai wa by the Ugandan government officials sasa uh, on Twitter wamekuwa na leak ma photos madem huko wamepiga jet ski eh? na hati wameenda COP28 unaenda uh, climate summit na unaenda ku kupiga nduthi kwa maji <laughs> the irony eh? <laughs> eh? unaenda kumaliza flora and fauna ya oceans kwa jet ski si wanazemanga jet ski na pollute tuko 106 sasa tuanze karibuni sana wenye wako hapa kama kawa eh, much love to all my true fans eh? nilikuwa last week nilikuwa hivi hivi it was my birthday Najua men pia tutaki birthday yetu kuifanya like a big deal so uh, actually Thursday was my birthday so I didn't nilikuwa tu hivi you know leo so, nilikuwa nafikiria man nikiwa high school nilikuwa ngana those big dreams eh Ken Bunei asante sana karibu asante umerusha ka kitu umechangamsha hao watu wengine mm? thanks Rahim Tula so it was just nilikuwa na low energy you know the, by the way I don't understand how people have high energy but ni madem wana kuanga na high energy kwa birthday zao. Abu, karibu sana from Washington DC, karibu sana. So I don't understand how people have have high energy. Sasa niko hivi, I prefer being because I normally like being in Mombasa over my holiday but it was raining so the rain was a turn off for me to travel to Mombasa. So nilikuwa I, I napenda na kuwa na that temporary distraction eh? unakuwa new place new ama watu hawakujui wa although the last time nilikuwa Mombasa watu niliingia anga 001 naona kikawase huko jua kasema ama nisimame nisimame Mombasa nilikuwa najiuliza ama nisimame huku because hmm? i remember i did a video about the road from eh, iko pale bamburi palikuwa pako panaitwaje pale ni tononoka and then wame the engineers wameacha bridge wameacha hivyo iko na mauchafu sasa nikakam nikafanya video nika blast mohaji chopevu na mwambia this thing has been like this for i don't know how long who my street lights azifanyangi nikaona watu wote wa moha wamenikamia huko ma influencer wake wote Mm, nilifanya video nayo ikaenda ilikuwa sasa hizo nilikuwa na vuma TikTok ilikuwa na kama 300,000 views and iko na kama 150,000 15,000 on Facebook eh, ilikuwa I think I think that video is still on on uh, on YouTube so eh nikaona eh hey, watu wananijua bana so anyway uh, that's why nilikuwa hivyo but I'll try even though worst case scenario one one live a week one live a week ili na nyinyi mkue mumejihami mumejihami ki ki float mumejihami ki float yeah? so the topic of today i was talking about i don't know whether you saw my tweet last week uh, samido was launching his uh, his foundation alikuwa na ilaunchia parkland sports club and he had a lot of sponsors and i'm thinking are they really investing in talent what what is happening because to be honest very few people know samido or his music they know live wewe niko live wewe mm kasarani asante sana explode so and everyone always misconstrues my observations on the matter as if i am hating why should i why do you guys throw the word hate hate is so powerful I, uh, hate is uh, mm, hate ni kama nini eh? so i don't understand so nika 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 sema i don't understand how this guy gets all these sponsors yet very many people cannot relate to the music then oh apparently deputy president rigadi gashagwa was a guest of honor so those companies if you look at them they are owned by the same clique of people who then you know they are owned by wewe mzee na niko live uacha masimu wewe nani anani pigia masimu so 
the, this is a clique of people, the, all of them, they seem to be uh, running point at, from the same, and they were there for the government. They were there for the political co correctness. They were there for the political affiliation because deputy president was there. So these are politically correct companies. And in the, 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 the collapse of the Kenyan economy is intertwined with corporate interests, with vested interests. Uh, you know, there are these people called uh, importers. They are the ones who influence policy, which make the doing business for the rest of us very difficult. So there is a convergence because there is no way you can tell me the entire state machinery is there. Uh, you can tell me that uh, whoever is there, the sports minister, who uh, during the same period, uh, Ababu Namwamba, uh, failed to provide funds or to facilitate the Kenya rugby team to go and play as an invitational team in Dubai. But then he was at Samidos making huge contrib uh, contributions. So this entire state machinery does not just pop out of nowhere. They don't go anywhere. However much you may like, you know, even the first time Michael Jackson was uh, confronted with allegations of, you know, whatever he was doing with children and whatnot, uh, very many people had a hard time to, you know, to reconcile and to understand that, or R. Kelly, that this guy, I love him, I love his music, but there's something not adding up. And which is why I told you, you can love someone, but you can hate... Uh, uh, you, you can love someone, but you can hate their politics. So Samido is all the time flanked by government aficionados. Uh, his wife is a senator. Uh, he's always flanked by, or he was always attending, like now he performed, I don't know, that wedding for Akina Betimaina or whatnot. So he's, a, he's very much a prop. P. Eh? Mashal. Uh, You want to extract eh, from me, lakini ya mutaki kuwekelea, eh, na munataka niende kotini, anyway. So he's always flanked by, you know, these, uh, these, these politician and aficionados, uh, but uh, uh, when you raise it, when you connect him to uh, the government of the day, oh, it's a problem, oh, blah, blah, blah. and you know, I have to, you, you know, we, me, myself, I have to speak my truth. Uh, DJ Adla, welcome, come through, come through. Thanks for coming through. Our hatu wa masimu wananipigia hapa. Mimse anaitua papilo, papilo, papilo ukiona hii video ewe. Anyway, so um, we, uh, we, we, whatever, we, I, I raise the issue and I'm like, the, something doesn't make sense. The, the other artists are struggling, number one, to get booked, number two, to get corporates. And so my question is, why is, uh, you know, rural, because I talked about the idea of rural, rural ruralism. In, uh, in Swahili, we call it ushamba. In Kikuyu, we say ogeshagi. So we are calling it uh, rural, ruralism. Why has it taken over uh, mainstream pop culture? Why is ruralism taking over the country? Because if you remember when you were driving from whichever town you came from, Ukifika Nairobi, welcome to Nairobi. Welcome to the city under the sun. Welcome to God, uh, God, God knows what. And then Ukitoka unaambiwa kwa heri. So the ile mbao ilikuwa imeandikuwa welcome to Nairobi. It was signifying that ile ushamba umekuja nayo uliache at that point. Unaonanga kama ukienda na nyuki, unaona you are now crossing the equator. You, you know, so it, it, it had a significance that now you are coming to Nairobi, uh, now you are coming to adopt new mannerisms, you are going to consume new media, you are going to interact with uh, more brilliant people, uh, and that's how it has been. And, you, I mean, life in Tokyo is not the same as life in Osaka. Eh? Life in New York is not the same as life in Minnesota. Think of anywhere else. Eh? Dioyo anaitua P. Masha. Eh? P. Masha amesema. He's going to put his money where his mouth is. Dioyo sasa. Santi sana kakablaza. Kakablaza. So, uh, you put your money where your, your mouth is. Thank you very much, Mr. P. Masha. But 
ulikuwa ukiona you are now welcoming to Nairobi even psychologically it prepares you kama ulikuwa unaweka masimu hivyo unajua huku watu wanapigangwa tero wanapigangwa pickpocket una, unaificha ulikuwa you know once so i need to understand how the rural people have taken over the ideological conversation of Nairobi i, I need to understand how that works because it's not about ethnicity over here because what what you are in Nairobi but you knew i don't understand how then uh, these rural based people um uh, are now taking over they, they are taking over they are dominating the conversations they are dominating influence uh, and influencing policy uh, you know they, they, i don't understand how is that happening as if nairobi we don't have our own culture or within urban areas we don't have our own culture and you, you know back to uh, what happened last week there is this lady uh who was rose i think she's a house help in saudi arabia and then uh, there were all these videos creepy videos if you ask me uh, which just started popping up out of nowhere calling her she's the best she's going and then some kids there are crying and i'm like this is rubbish why is they never do this why are they trying to uh, what are we being influenced and so somebody raises the question they're like because uh, these middle eastern jobs have been so you know people are have been against them uh, why then are they trying to force us to you know to appreciate so uh, is someone or an agency which wants to take people feeling the heat on the ground and then now they are trying to glamorize these jobs based on now those videos and so it started slowly becoming a national conversation until i stood back i'm like why are we celebrating somebody who based on uh, the worst circumstances working as a domestic worker in the middle east in nigeria they still have domestic workers and what not uh, but uh, in nigeria they talk about nigerians being the highest phd holders or the highest educated cluster of people in america nigerian uh, immigrants they have that and they celebrate that they hang it as a badge of honor So why are we here being pushed now? Eh? Why why are we being pushed now and as as uh, Japolo Kenya one says is the same narrative that we were sold for to accommodate these despots these Kenya Kusha despots whereby we were sold the illusion that Mama Mboga eh, Boda Boda eh, Mutua Nini has at Mutua what is whatever he was he was using that they have more votes than us so there is a there is a battle of ideology over here there is a battle of influence and it all connects to the political dynamics of the day so uh, samido being a rural uh, a rural musician pre- should ideally be uh, should, should ideally be in the you know in the trenches of kikuyu music and kikuyu music has always been uh, in like me i don't go out looking for kikuyu music i am kikuyu i understand it but i don't when i feel like i want to go to kikuyu music i know i'm going to this place and i prefer it not to be in the city center so why is he being thrusted to us in nairobi is because uh, there's there's something there's a there's an element of trying to manufacture first of all uh, you know popularity trying to uh, there is a way the rural, ruralism has now afterwards been weaponized by the political establishment to now uh, create a hegemony so now because samido is very popular amongst the kikuyus then even the kikuyu elites the ones who probably don't like his music don't identify with his genre you know even probably don't even speak the language now we'll be told because this guy is there then you have to toe the line then all of you are durakus all of you are this so it's a thin line but uh, you know we are there to to interact and exchange and i don't think it should be you know viewed where people now should come with now matusi mingi i i think there is uh, room for more conversation that 
why 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 am i uh, i have somebody when i when i said that samido's music is not popular people don't know his songs then uh, people told me then how do you know if you have never listened but samido's music is all over is i i hear it even when i don't need to like it will be with an influencer uh, there, there was this guy who was influencing for him this is very popular guy from wehoko um what is dead henry de sagu and i i saw them fighting the other day i don't know what they were fighting about uh, there was a an argument i don't know where the, he was performing but um yeah so 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 we are there we are uh, we are we are being forced so there is no way you can ignore his music because his music is everywhere is available everywhere even when you don't want to listen to it you listen now how comes i've never mastered it i've never understood it i've never i've never gotten the drift and i understand that he's key uh, you know client or fan base is a uh, is a certain gender you, you know is a female gender they are the ones who support him uh, even rigi g uh, even rigi g at that launch of that foundation he stood up and said look this function is full of women so that's his that's his uh, can we call it what that's his uh, client base eh? <laughs> that's his fan base and so it is uh, if that's your fan base then it would be first of all far fetched for you to expect male street cred just out of the blues well you don't even make music that appeals to them so even just speaking as a stakeholder then uh, the in kenya is almost like it's criminal to air your opinion mm -hmm. because everyone is going to come after you guns blazing eh everyone is everyone is on the edge waiting to cancel you eh? they are waiting for the opportunity eh? but anyway so that was my idea of uh, you know my conver my talking point of today uh, ruralism why has it taken over this country why are we being controlled by rural bred uh, rural bred uh, people while they everyone we, there is beauty in diversity so when i go to nyeri i want to meet nyerians there when i go to moranga i want to meet morangas there thriving because their devolution is working uh, but we, it cannot be over the weekend that people are all of them they are converging to go to this place and that place so what was the purpose of devolution so i don't want i'm i'm done with this whatever they are trying to impose on us because there is something uh, there is something they are trying and there is something they are trying to manipulate and you know and and out of all the people who criticize me i haven't seen like in solidarity i haven't seen like kiku musician standing and saying no francis is wrong well, he, it's just his normal you know coterie of groupies who are all up in my grill and tell, saying hey, i don't know francis what 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 uh, but but me I'm, me I'm, me I'm one to connect dots i'm, I'm like something is not adding up over here hmm? uh, the village girl is saying over here she uh, she has never heard any of his songs and she only knows him through the scandals of his baby mamas you understand so this is it this is i don't know why we are we, this person is being forced on us in america those of you in the usa you know the terminology for such a character they are called they are called industry plants where you see somebody has risen out of the blue yeah um has risen out of the blue and he's now calling the shots and he's now dominating that industry you call them industry they are in the movie sector entertainment because it's a battle of influence it's a battle of your uh, of your mind because they need to keep you on lock they need to keep you on a chokehold up until 2027 so every other event that the members of the establishment rigiji or whoever every other event that they grace Uh, under the auspices of these uh, characters these industry plants uh, and you can google the word industry plant and you you, you will make sense of, out of it every other in a public appearance will be misconstrued that rigiji was working for instance there was nothing else rigiji did that day apart from attend he might have but what we saw was attend but because all the influencers were there it was a big Uh, propaganda machinery and the corporates the corporates also have their own pr uh, 
uh, attachments or accessories. So it becomes such a, you, it snowballs into such a public event that you will assume that Rigiji has been working hard that day just because he appeared at that event. You see, so you, you have to, uh, for, for, for whatever, for accountability to our politicians, anywhere they appear in public, we must know what is, um, what is, uh, what, what is the connection here. Like I remember when uh, Aisha Jumwa attended the, uh, when Aisha Jumwa attended the uh, Akode's wedding, and then she went, she gave her million, but it was wrapped in a big uh, string, yeah. And 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 we asked her, and it was during the time they hadn't even paid the civil servants. We asked her, how can you afford to donate one million at a wedding, and? Uh, civil servants have not been paid. And because we made that noise, she's been very cautious not to appear again in public with such ostentatious display of, uh, of, of materialism. They, she's been very cautious because, uh, remember, these people are paid with your tax money. They, what, anytime they go to donate that money, it's going to come from somewhere. For instance, you saw Yamune MPs, the, the Aaron Chariot tournament and then they ferried money with uh, with a helicopter and it was there and they're just flaunting it and we're asking where are you getting this money it's from our parastatos it's not from their pockets you see so if you don't if you make it if you normalize that you don't ask questions that you don't demand much then you, they become more daring they become more huh? they, they they want to now show it and splash splash it in your face hmm? so don't you're supposed to embrace this space of you know uh, you know freedom of expression uh, this space of uh, we we are all unique you understand we can't all now that's because we've been told that samido is a no somebody has to poke holes why is somebody else telling me or trying to dictate my taste of music i know the best people who have been who are the best kikuyu musicians and he doesn't even rank close but he is followed by the machinery, the juggernaut uh, of uh, corporate cartels. Now, in response, now he, he first of all he responded as usual, trolling me about my weight, the intellectual dwarf. But so he released a list of uh, his performances between now and I think New Year. So. People are saying, uh, you can only see Samido in January and then they were tagging me and everything. But if you look at the places he's performing, you will notice that there are five clubs owned by either one person or one entity, one limited company. So you'll find he's performing at these hotels and all of the, just, just go and look. Eh? Just, just go and look. You're going to see. Eh? He's performing at this, if you if you, you can draw a pattern between those places he's performing and now the corporates who supported his uh, foundation launch, uh, the, 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 and then the, why these foundations are uh, these foundations are also being you know cited as conduits for money laundering. So these clubs that he's performing in. It's so easy if you ju you just need somebody who has time. It's just that I don't, me myself I I didn't I don't I, I like dealing with uh, you know policy. Yeah? I like tackling policy and structural weaknesses and flaws of this uh, this government or any government or you know. But if you if you if you, you you connect the dots between the places he's performing, the corporates who appeared there. And those citations and allegations of money laundering, you'll find, you'll, you'll see. You don't need to be a brain surgeon. Uh, so these guys, they are in our faces too much. We're just telling them chill. We, and if, you know, you know, corporates, Kenyan corporates are very, very dumb. They're headed by idiots. Uh, they, we, we have, we say Kenyan corporates are a cesspit of creative delinquents. You know, they, they can't come up with anything new. They just jump on the wave, the bandwagon that is, you know, trending during the day. I remember, I remember the in around 2009, 2010, there's this, uh, there's this uh, whiskey brand called Grey Goose. And Grey Goose had uh, partnered with uh, 
BET, Black Entertainment Television, and then they were they were doing something called Rising Icons. And they, they would be on YouTube. I think there are still some videos on YouTube, but those days I remember I used to watch them on BET consistently. And they are the ones who now brought in the game people who are still hitting now. They brought out people like J. Cole, they brought out uh, Miguel, they brought out Kid Cudi, eh? they brought, uh, there's a chick called Melanie Fiona. They, all of them were on that platform. And it's, you know, till today, those musicians are still popping. They're still. Huh? Uh, they, 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 are, they are still they are still they are, they are still hitting to date. So what if imagine now every day I see there's like a place in Kikuyu. I see all these events where Akina Kwame and who are performing. Imagine if just one corporate and I think one had taken it. I think these guys called Two Five Four Brewing had started doing events in their place in Kikuyu and then they stopped. Uh, but imagine if one corporate was consistent with one of these emerging acts. And right now, it is so easy to make it because you're having a, this chick called Sophia Nzau. Sophia Nzau just came out of nowhere. She partnered with this uh, Brazilian guy. He's called Zab. He did the beats for her. And then suddenly, uh, she's all over. Even so, Diplo. Diplo was playing her in Dubai. He had a gig in Dubai. And then he started saying, no, 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 the you know, that's the power that we can, you know, rally if people drop their stupidity and their eh? and their mediocrity. The Kenyan corporates, even them, they've been invaded by ruralism. Hmm? They, are not, they don't want to invest. They don't want to think outside the box. Hmm? Now Moturi is using the word I use, this gatekeeping. We have gatekeepers all over in corporate Nairobi. Mm -hmm. We have gatekeepers. I was talking about, and this is, by the way, this is very genuine criticism. I'm seated somewhere. Somebody tells me that Tasca EABL came up with Tasca and Dimu to compete with Kenya Originals, KEO, who have the flavored drinks and fla flavored beers. And I'm like, damn, these guys have been with us for the last hundred years. You never thought people wanted some flavored drinks, it never occurred to you. Huh? It never occurred to you that now you have to come up with another, and I could have had Dimu this work. That's, please, please, Musini Ambia ni hater. You, you, these are public things I, I, must, I must comment. But it would have been a boss move if EABL bought out that company. That's how, that's how to do it. You go buy out that company. Uatoe, you buy out those brands and then you now ma manipulate the di distribution so that now we can know how you do. Yeah? You know, there's a way they do it, I'm told. Kama sahi Christmas, unaona, kuna pombe moja inasifiwa kuliko ingine. There's a way. Now, that's a boss move if they bought it out. But they don't want to do that. It is inconceivable. No, no, no. It's too tedious. Let's get a guy to try and clone a formula here and let's make what? Hmm? So, as DJ Adla is saying, Mwaki is the best tropical house right now. And what happened, well, let me tell you how things work in gatekeeping Nairobi. When Just when we have pushed Sophia and Zav, she's now a global sensation, then Christina Shusho pops out of nowhere with a very deadbeat song. And she's dominating. And then we have all these... Uh, all, all these influencers on TikTok and everyone on Twitter, she's trending. For what? It's not like she, she has removed a global banger which is being played everywhere. So we immediately suspended our patriotic imperative so as to jump on this wave. And nobody said until I asked. So we've moved from pushing Sophie and Zau, and we are now pushing Christina Shusho for a concert. Not even new music that she has released. For a concert, for a New Year concert. This is crazy, man. You guys are crazy. Hmm? Now you see why I can't be able to be doing these lives every day because I'm going bonkers here. I'm going ballistic. I'm wondering what's wrong with you guys. Can't you see? Hmm? Can't you see? Can't you see what I'm seeing? Hmm? You guys are crazy. Hmm? I'm going here. I'm going nuts. I'm sweating. Hmm? I'm sweating. I'm losing it because I'm wondering. If, even when an opposite an opportunity presents itself for us to 
you know, transcend, eh? to just get that thrust, that momentum, so that we can discover 10 more, eh? 10 more Sophie and Zaus. It's almost like there's somebody who wants to undermine our domestic progress because these have been talking about gatekeeping. The first time I talk, I, I spoke. Uh, thank you, Mo, uh, Brenda Erumbi. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, the first time I spoke about gatekeeping was in relation to Eliud Kipchoge. And we came to understand, though it's not said publicly, that the National Olympics Committee and Athletics Kenya have been blocking other players because they want this one to shine. Huh? This one, they, they want this one to, to shine. And that's why somebody had to go all the way to, was it Boston Marathon or where? Or which marathon did Kiptum break? Had to go there in a privately arranged marathon to break Eliud Kipchoge's record because he cannot get a slot to represent the country because these are the time they are gatekeeping. Instead of us rallying and because we are not tired, we the Kenya is a hub of talent. If we produce the best, if we produce the best talent as regards to athletics, you, we can have the best footballers, we can have the best musicians, we can do everything. But here is cartels gatekeepers. We are talking about the asal leaders, arid and semi-arid areas, eh? northern Kenya. Hmm? We are talking about uh, the governors there. Because I saw, I saw a lady, she's called who? She's on TikTok. She's called Marion the Farmer. They have made a small dam with their own contractor there. They have dug a small dam for their own farming use. These guys have received two trillion. They have not even made a water reservoir. They have not even bought tanks for anyone. And then they have the nerve to come to tell us here to lecture us how is a national assignment. Hmm? It is a national obligation. It is a central government. The rubbish. And we have because they know they can help their people. Hmm? They can uh, they, they they can dig dams there and they can be water sufficient. Eh? They can be food secure, but they don't want to do that because then they are not relevant. Then people are full. They will lack relevance because they need they need to condemn you to be poor people so that you can be dependent on their handouts. You see, so they they we can we can finish hunger and poverty in Kenya. There's somebody who did a map on, uh, on TikTok talking about the rivers. All the seasonal rivers are awake now. We would have planned. And even when the meteorological department were saying that we are expecting El Nino, Ruto can come and say, no, it's a lie. Now, can you imagine if we had a visionary? Ian Goge, man, you guys are the ones who make me come on live, man. Ian Goge has just pushed me with 10, eh? 10 quid. Eh? 10, 10 British pounds. Thank you very much, bro. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, the, these are the guys who make me... Who, uh, you know, when I sit down, I'm angry at you guys because I see where you're, you're just taking your chums to eh, to build Nani's uh, Digo, eh? Joki Morira's mom's Digo, but then I see you guys, I'm like, oh, Santi Sana uh, to the people. I'm here for you. So anyway, they, 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 there, was a, there was a map where... All the rivers, all the seasonal rivers are now full. Now, we, if, we, if we had a visionary leader, not William Ruto, of course, or anyone in Kenya, Kwisha, can you imagine with the advanced knowledge that had been given, what we, what we would have been doing, just building small dams across the country? And you just need one bulldozer, just dig, go here, dig here, bus, excavate here. Can you imagine how... Uh, the, the the extent uh, or how the how we would have secured the country as regards to water we would not even be having all these flooded uh, roads which have been rained on and you know the bridges swept away they were not they were not even building bridges there they were building box culverts it's crazy man huh? psychotic you guys huh? but we when we are envisioning a future when we are envisioning a better kenya it has to be preceded with these conversations. It has to be that we are not stopping here after this live that you go back to your hustle. Are you talking with your people, with your family members? Are you telling them that it's not going to be business as usual? Are you telling them that, eh, you know, we, we have to, you know, we have to elevate our thinking. The solutions are homegrown. 
We don't need Muzungus and their stupid money. We don't need World Bank and IMF. We, they are giving loans knowing very well that those loans will be stolen. And so here we are, we are being forced to comply with rules, structural adjustment programs, so that we can sell our parastatals to them at throwaway. Hmm? Uh, just because they are giving us money. And that money is not going to go to any project. These guys, for one year, they have borrowed $2 trillion and they have collected $2 trillion. So there's been $4 trillion in the exchequer. These guys have not built, launched any project other than going to relaunch the ones which were done before. After four trillion shillings. Eh? And now World Bank, now because they have given us two trillion or even less, now they want us to eh, mortgage our, our... Do we What do we need four trillion for? To be fueling hustler jet. To go from country to country. Mm, to be doing what? To be given as handouts by those Yamune MPs you saw in that tournament. No, we want it in projects. Already that 4 trillion could have, because the dueling of Mombasa Road just needs 300 billion. The dueling of Rironi Maul Summit uh, Road just needs 160 billion. So with 460 billion, they, we could have had two superhighways which could have eased the transport nightmare in the country. With the money which has been borrowed and collected within the last financial year alone. I need you to understand how serious this thing is. Because your parents and your grandparents in their infinite stupidity have been taking elections as if it's a, it's a, eh? it's a, it's a beauty contest. You've been taking it, eh? we are going to elect this one because he's humble. Uh, because he what? Because he attends our funerals. And Those are the metrics that people have been using to know who to elect. And when they are coming to donate in those events, which should be self-sponsored. Because why do you need somebody to donate to your whatever? Because first of all, the medical costs are normally very high. Why are they high? Because these guys are not building any hospitals. Your governors are not building any hospitals. They're just enjoying their money. They're just building flats. So all our problems are self-induced. And when it comes back in the form of philanthropy, you think it's a favor. You think that because this MP comes for your Maumbolezi or for whatever, these aspirants, that those are the metrics you're going to use. So if we are not having these conversations with your family, then we, is, this is a spectacular waste of time. I've just told you they've collected four trillion within the last financial year. Hmm? Yeah, so this this is a life and death. I need you to take politics seriously. Shouldn't be taking it as a eh, as another pastime. And I told you when you vote, you're not going to sleep eh, and vote at the mattress or sitting room eh, to watch the results streaming in as you catch strokes there with your. Huh? With your partner? No. Yo, once the, once the, once you cast your vote, you go and volunteer to your respective candidate who you have pre-vetted through various, uh, through 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 various, you know, sessions, uh, town hall meetings. You know, you go talk to people, tell them we need to elect this person, and we are not targeting because we understand the stupidity of Kenyans is beyond measure. We understand that. Uh, we understand that many people are still under the chokehold of the media and the corrupt clergy. We understand that. So we are targeting. Why can't we start with a number like 40%? 40% good election, you know, good oversight by the citizens, you know, citizen journalism, you know, you keep there, you are the one who is monitoring, streaming and whatever, so that we tackle. We already know the, the how I, I, IEBC, they steal elections. They, they still, they, not during the voting, but during the tallying. So wh wh why, why, wh why is there an impediment during tallying? Because at the polling station, it's so expensive to have people manning and overseeing. So you have to volunteer without expecting anything in return. You understand? You, you, do, you don't have to, eh? don't, 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 don't think that your participation just during one day is is, uh, is going to hurt you in any way. Furthermore, we are going to be on holiday or something. So you, you volunteer to your respective candidate, be it, I've not told you president, 
told you, starting from your MCA, the seats that concern you, MCA, Senator, MP, Women Rep, all those, uh, you know, those are the seats. Now, you camp there, you say, I'm going to volunteer. Because most of the costs during election go towards paying the, the, those, those observers, those uh, agents. That's where the cost, because you have to pay the agent, you have to pay him like 3,000 bob or 2,000 bob for that day. And then you have to feed them, you have to give them airtime. So you see, you can imagine if a, you know, if, a, if a polling station has like five streams, eh, now that's where, they, because the guy with the money is the guy who is going to win. The guy who has bribed the IEBC officials. So for you to, eh, you must sacrifice and not sacrifice expecting instant results, but you have to start vetting your potential candidates now. And they, you have all the tools at your disposal. And you shouldn't listen to your corrupt clergy. You shouldn't listen to the media. No journalist should tell you. No, Like now in Mount Kenya, they are told who to vote by gospel musicians. Can you imagine those intellectual dwarfs? No, these are chokuras who've just uh, come out of nowhere and then they pretend now that they, they are singing gospel, but they are just idiots. They don't even have, there is no substance to their music and they pack so much heat because then they are onboarded by who? By Kameme and Dinoro and then they gain social media clout and suddenly they are in the mix. A guy like Samido, a police officer, is he has the clout to summon eh? the head of state, the minister of sports, they can come there to his function. Can you see how low we have fallen? Ask the, the deputy president, Rigadi Gashagwa, he should be meeting, every other day he should be meeting industrialists, investors, innovators, you should, those are the people who we should be meeting. Landlords, they tell him this is our problem. We have, uh, we don't have roads here. We don't have electricity, street lights. No, but he is attending. Can it, are you are you seeing? Are you um, am I illustrating it in a in an understandable language? Can you understand? Can you see where we have fallen off because we have anti-intellectualism which has permeated from the top to the bottom. So the key here is now the people who are behind. I told you boycott things like Kameme and Dinoro. Huh? Don't tithe. Don't tithe to your churches anymore. Let us see, because these guys have deliberately absconded their spiritual and humanitarian outreach. They have, they have, they have said now we, our work is propaganda. We are uh, status quo eh? amplifiers. We, our work is to onboard Rigigi and everyone else. So Let's leave them like that. And you start crafting a new political future away from your stupid and retarded parents and grandparents hmm? who has, uh, they, 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 were, uh, they, were, they were thinking like elections is just another day uh, to go and shop. Well, now I'm free. I can go and shop. I can catch up on my errands. I can go to the salon now. Uh, I can do my nails now because, no, elections is a serious day. You're supposed to be not even sleeping. Everywhere you're in a polling station, volunteering. The others, you're somewhere, you're telling. If somebody sees, hmm? if somebody sees that, uh, please, Charles Kemani, there's no difference between evangelical and mainstream and all of them are trash and all of them are on the payroll of this regime. There's none better than the other. Period. So, you, you, this is what you do on that day. You pull up. You take election seriously. It's not a joke. It's not a beauty contest. That's what your parents did for the last 60 years. That's all they've been doing. That's what they've been doing. Hey, this guy is humble. And then now you find the hood rats now. How do the hood rats dominate public opinion in Nairobi that let's vote for this guy because he has dimples? So how does a hood rat, don't you have a, your own money? Don't you have your own what? How does a hood rat based on her sexual imperative. Now, eh, Dengi Mwananzeki is a crook, Dominica Boga. That guy is a guy who came up with 844 together with a guy called James Kamunge. 844 was created to dumb people down. We are going through whatever we are eh, enduring right now because of the work and investment of uh, Dengi Mwananzeki. Hmm? So you take elections seriously. Take, eh? don't, don't be there just moonlighting and just doing what? No, take it seriously. I'm about to wind up. Eh? I'm about to wind up. 
I hope you enjoyed that. I wanted to make it short and high impact, high energy. Eh? I hope you enjoyed it. So this is this is it now. I'm I'm drawing. I'm trying to connect the dots for you as you know as certain, it can be as easy as possible for you to relate. The, what is happening is not. Eh, there is nothing new. They are they are just doing what Akina Moi and Kenyatta have done since the sixties and the seventies. Mm. This is all they have done. Zilao, man, this guy from Denmark. These guys are top notch, man. Santi Sana with twenty five uh, Danish krona. Santi Sana. Mm. I'm just about to wind up. Yeah. So we, this is it. The, stop taking elections as if it's a fashion show. This is what your parents have been doing. We are in this mess because of them. So will you allow them to do the same crap again? Will you? Huh? Will you allow them to, huh, to, to just talk there, to just be uh, confused and misled by the corrupt clergy? I, and the clergy have no shame. I saw another woman. She's calling herself what Bishop who? At a public function, it looked like a Rorashi or something. And she she was standing there, and I posted it on my on my Twitter. By the way, you guys, you need to follow me on Twitter because you're going to be missing. When I'm not here, I'm, I'm very active on Twitter. Eh? And Twitter is at fguido237. So this lady bishop was there, and then she called Kawajiko. Kawajiko there, and then she prayed for him, and then she told him, now you, make sure you're not fighting with Wamatangi, you're working together. Obviously, Wamatangi is not working. Kawajiko is not working. These are thugs. But you see, the, co the corrupt religious establishment are working <laughs> even when away from the pulpit, they are still working and they are coming, they are invading your most intimate spaces, your most intimate events. And they are coming there and they have subtle messaging, pro establishment messaging. Because you'd expect everyone now we are talking about bad governance and we are saying all of these people must go. The language of you should be working together should not be there. A anyone who is not telling us how we are going to impeach, how we are going to recall, how we are going to exercise the people's sovereign will to ensure that yeah, our, our, our interests are considered, are factored in. Anyone who is not talking about that language is our enemy. Anyone who is talking about consensus, anyone who is talking about uh, reconciliation amongst warring political parties, that's not the language we want to hear. To Kopamoja, can you tell eh? e message in as a fika to the corrupt clergy? Tell them we are hatuko hapa. Wow, kazi yao, siyo jo pola uiano. They are not the Truth, Justice, and Reconciliation Committee. We we already saw what that did in South Africa. <laughs> and, and now, and now blacks there are still disenfranchised by the political establishment. So uh, you, it's you now to see and to extend this message. We are two hundred and thirty of us today. How how are you going to send? Are you going to share the link? Are you going to do what? Are you going to tell your parents? Are you going to do everything? But you, every, you have all the tools at your disposal. You cannot fade ignorance anymore. Hmm? You cannot feign ignorance anymore. Okay? So, yeah. Keman Indian, we elect the, the leaders who give us proverbs and we finish for them. Uh, Keman Indimi is telling you, you guys, eh, you, you, you like... Like there's this guy called Mwangi Kionjuri. He was elected on the sole basis of reciting idioms. Hmm? On the sole basis. That's all he does. And he was constantly elected. Huh? The, you have to change your value systems. You have to change. You, you have to be bolder. You have to tackle the, even all the accessories of your oppression beginning with the media, beginning with the church, beginning with the boomers, hmm? your parents. You have to tell them and you have to remind them that we are in this problem because of them, because they took elections as a joke. Hmm? They, and even now we can still see, hmm? we can still see residue of their stupidity. Hmm? So you tell them we don't want to hear your advices because you, you, you guys have let us down. 
we could be we could be in the same league as the Asian Tigers but see us now we are grappling over eh, a, a road and I told you there's a difference between floods and flooding they are flooding because these guys never put in place measures the bridges that were done by the colonialists are still holding but the roads which were done the other day by Kenna and Kera and Kura they are being swept away you see I've seen in Voi, there is Voi River, and that, that bridge was done during the colonial era, and it's still holding, even though the water is passing down there, it's still holding on. These guys are building roads the other day because when Ataka Kunyonga, they are Nyongain, instead of building a bridge, they build a box culvert, so that the extra money they build, they build to flats here, they build to properties, they take hood rats to Dubai. Hmm? Na nyinyi hapo wanakuja kwa makanisa wako hapo mbele you're clapping for them. Eh, he has donated one million. He has donated what for the construction of the church. Tumejenga kanisa kutoka independence. That cannot be the metric. That cannot be how your value system. Hmm? JK that was a fake story eh. JK Kenya that was a fake story. So anyway, I'm um, 4 minutes uh, four minutes. Kau kuna kitu nataka kuposti yapo watu waone posti. Four minutes. Hey, at least nime, uh, nime, I wanted to be whatever. And now when this live appears, you know later you can share the link. Quota system has to be abolished. You're you're on the track, man. You know you 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 know you know what needs to be done, man. Mm -hmm. William Dolan has told me to check my Mpesa. Santi sana. Eh, Santi Sana. So this is it. We 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 cannot be uh, we cannot be just waiting for things to happen magically. Eh? You you cannot just be there sleeping and waiting for at results uonyeshwe kwa the media. The results are streaming in. Results are streaming in. No, you have to be the one there. You have to run your parallel telling mechanism. Yeah, you have to run it. You have to be there. You have to be with your people. You have to be filming once you see electoral malpractices. You film. You have a central command post and all from volunteership. Please, you vet now. You and don't use. Don't look for people. Who are, don't don't be determined. Don't, don't let your political destiny be usurped. Be determined by other people. You vet, and then now you discuss, and then you grow slowly by slowly. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, that's how it goes. That's how we, you you have to be. Eh? You have to be. You have to be the change you want to see. It's not dependent on Okia Umtata. It's not dependent on who, on these activists who is going to go to court on your behalf. No. And I told you the other day there are people who are designed and who are sponsored to, eh, to, to, to manufacture helplessness. Submission. Already washa kuja wamemuambia. Like now, I told you every week there is an agenda. Today wame kuja with something obviously that will never see the light of day. That you will be jailed if you start rearing your own animals. And now it becomes a conversation. Something that can never happen. But they are distracting you with it. You understand? So, uh, <laughs> Eric Kajero. Uh, this guy is real, man. <laughs> yeah. So... So, so don't fall for the establishment gaslighting. Eh? Don't be gaslit like that. Just like ni kama ulikuwa mekaa tu hivyo umegojea kukuwa gaslighted apana. No, 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 no. You, 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 you see, you see what they are planning and then you ignore. And then you stay committed to the conversation that we are having. They are going to bring a lot now because the fuel... Uh, the fuel price adjustment is 14th of December. So there's going to be a lot of distractions during that time so that we cannot take any mass action if they want to do what we, we, are, we are suspecting they want to. Okay? So stay focused. Stay committed. Don't be distracted. Uh, we are in a very... Like now, I have to be on Twitter. It's almost like I'm on Twitter like uh, 24 hours just to disrupt whatever machinations that are coming. 
because then we have highly excitable twips who are ready to share and retweet anything. Eh? They are ready to share. Eh? They are ready to, let's retweet. Let's share. Let's do what? They, I, I have to be there just to remind them, yo, maintain frame. Stop being an idiot. Don't be like your stupid parents and grandparents. It's almost becoming like a full-time job. When will I ever have my own life? When will I ever celebrate? Um, I'm emaciated after every, just because of just being on Twitter. Hmm? So anyway, it's been one hour. Thank you very much for all who tuned in, those who are sharing. Um, if, 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 even if uh, Kashero has said that it is Hana Kakitu, Lakini he's going to eh, cool a like. Now what you do is you take the link and share in your WhatsApp groups so that we can grow this page organically, as, as organically as possible, so that we can grow and we can onboard more people in this new gospel. Sawa sawa. Santeni sana for everyone who tuned in. Let's see whether I can do... If I, if I push another one later, later on this week, I'll give you a heads up, like, like a three-hour heads up, so that you can share the link and you know tell people to be prepared. Santeni sana. Mwamko, mwamko mpia tu, eh? Vijana, raukeni, raukeni vijana Cheni, eh? Cheni kujilalisha hapo Vijana msilale